Yeah, no, we will do it. Just, just, yeah. Yeah, just don't mind me. Welcome to another episode of Presence Cove. Uh, and as usual, I have here with me. What's up, guys? Do I have everybody in frame? I think we do. Think Thank God it's Friday. Thank God it's Friday. And then we have some other interesting people in the building. Hello. Team. What's up, Sonny? Hi, everyone. What's up? <laughs> 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 All right, so um, we were going to we we're talking about this before. Um, we're just going to chat a little bit about some of the things that, well, first of all, most of the second years now, uh, started to figure out what their path beyond residency will be. When you get into third year, you kind of already know yeah. what you want to do, right? So Ooh, three months left. Just three. Well, months. <laughs> yeah. No. Well, the year's the end of the right? academic the, yeah, year. The academic oh. year. End oh. of the academic year. Oh, shit. All right, yes, so, that's so, what I said. So, you know, at this point for that second years, who said that? <laughs> All right, so at, at this point for the second years, um, they're figuring out what they want to do with, you know, fellowship or go take a job and all of that stuff. And there's so many factors to consider. I have my own, you know. Yeah. I don't know if I'm making the best decision, but I, I know what I... You know. you'll, you'll only know it in retrospect, man. Yeah, you'll never maybe, know going into yeah, it. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> right? But um, what are some of the things he... First of all, uh, 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 let me start with Hannah. Hannah, mm -hmm. imagine, fast forward one year from now, and you're, you're in second year. With, first. Yeah, second first year. First thing I'll right. be like... What, what do you think your mind will be right now? I mean, first of all, hopefully I will feel a little smarter and more knowledgeable. Hopefully. But I think if I was in Fatai's spot right yeah. now, I, I would be a bit freaked out. That, well, you know, this. Uh, am I going to continue <laughs> this era of uh, education or am I going to be entering the good old fashioned uh, make working, a make a uh, uh, working <laughs> time? So uh, what what is it going to be? Because mm. either way, it's it's very overwhelming that where you're going to be. Mm. You're going to be uh, both of them going to come with a lot of responsibilities, yeah. different kinds. You're going to be growing up. But I mean, especially if you're going for fellowships, mm. uh, the application process is making sure my letter of recommendations, mm. everybody in my, in my program, my program director is on board, people everybody, know you. people know you, your research is publishing, everything is aligned. Yeah. And you know, making sure that uh, your transcripts are on hand with you, your mm. scores, everything. And you're just ready to send in that application. Yeah. Um, and for some of the people, it's also about making sure, you know, uh, that they have the backup plans. Yeah. The backup plans yeah. is like, I'm going to go for this fellowship. Uh, for instance, um, let's talk about the most competitive. Well, I'm going for GI. Yeah. Well, well, GI Palm doesn't Kurt. work out. Oh, uh, yeah. well, doesn't work out. What am I going to go into? Yeah. Like, am I going to go home and cry in the pillow? Or am I going so to go for something else? Well, well, I, I kind of think that most of these things, right, people tend to already figure them out from the first year. Like, yeah. for some people, they know from their, from their mother's womb that they want to do cardiology, yeah. for example. Yeah. 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 Of course. And from the you know from very early on, they kind of start to plan for all of that, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, let, let me hear what you have to say, Abhishek. Uh, if you were in second year at this point, what do you think your mind would be? Right. For me personally, or you think for anyone in a situation like this, because it it will vary greatly. Again, like you said, some people would know from their mother's womb they want yeah. to be a cardiologist. Yeah. Some people are still figuring out uh, so what medicine is all about. The yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, but I, I guess the, the more proper question would be, um, what are some of the reasons? Because now you, I, I, I'm a big, I'm super big on, you know, knowing yourself, like yeah. self awareness, yeah, 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 yeah. what works for you, what you really want out of life, and what excites you uh -huh. essentially. For some people. They don't see themselves becoming physicians or being valid at all if they're not, you know, cardiologists, so, for example, or gastroenterologists, exactly. right? Yeah. And for some people, they can be anything as long as they have an MD at the back of their, their exactly. name. They, they, they I think it's like usually this works out in two ways. Yeah. Some people know what they want to do. Yeah. They go do that. Later on, they may find out they don't like it. 
or they like it. So again, and some people may get pushed into something they didn't want to go into, and then they learn to like it. So again, that depends a lot on your, you as a person. If you're open to new experiences instead of fixating on one thing, that way I think you can keep like your options a little broader maybe. But if you know you're that type of person who, if you don't get this particular fellowship, yeah. or whatever your goal may be, yeah. then, you know, well, you won't be that happy with that many open options, right? So, okay. everyone's approach is going to be pretty different, man. So, so some, some, of the, some of the factors that, you know, we have to consider, in my, you know, particular position, I'm from Nigeria, I'm on a J-1 visa, for yeah. example, yeah. right? Somebody in my position oh, would think, you know, I'm finishing residency now, I have to either do fellowship or go take a waiver position. And you don't know if you're going to get it. Yeah. All right? And then you apply, and then you don't get it. So then it's what's, about... What's that mind process at that, at that stage, you think? So how bad do you want it? I mean, how bad do you want it and also how you have prepared yourself And what it? are you willing to sacrifice and to get exactly. it? Exactly. Some people, like, some people maybe like, no, this was one plan, that was a plan A and that was plan Z. Right. That you, I was going to go for the fellowship. And that's, this is where I'm telling myself, this is where residency is different for me than fellowships. Where it's like, if I don't match, fellowship is a choice. I don't want to, um, um, there are so many other ventures I can explore. It's not only one way. There are also, and uh, not always, you don't, going from A to B is a one route. Maybe you can go yeah. through A through C. Yeah. So that's the beautiful thing about mm -hmm. fellowships, that if you are committed to it, um, you can go work and uh, do research but and then why, come back to why it. Why even or, go into a fellowship, I was thinking. Like, what, yeah. why, uh, I think there is a lot of, a bit of a bias. I wouldn't say a lot of a bias. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think that if you do a fellowship, it means you're a more accomplished doctor. That's not what it means. Not at all. Like, that's well, I, of, I, I think we really have to dissect that because yeah. what you're touching on is a fact. Yeah. That's how a lot of people think about it. They're like a fellowship yeah. means something good versus yeah. being a PCP. Maybe yeah. it means it's not that I good. I didn't push yeah, myself. So, so exactly. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, are you, what are your thoughts on that particularly? So again, it's... Uh, about your personal experience, I've noticed a lot of IMGs yeah. coming in, uh, people I've interacted with back home, back in medical school, who are now doing residencies here. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure there's data out there that I think IMGs, in general, a larger proportion of them tend to gravitate towards fellowships okay. because they have this kind of idea in their head that yeah. it's, a, it's a mark of achievement of some sort, right. rather than, you it's know, exactly, sort of yeah, busy. exactly. Yeah which is not just a perfectly viable career option, yeah. but it's something that we should look into. PCPs are dropping day by day, right? They are. Yeah, so. Well, my, my personal take on that, I think, is, again, it comes back to what, what, what excites you. What you excites know? you, yeah. A lot of times, I'm gonna ask, this is gonna be a follow-up question, the money factor, right? Yeah. Which mm -hmm. is a big thing, right? Absolutely. You know, the idea of having to spend another three, four years in fellowship is significant yeah. right, to get to a point. Yeah. And if you're not, sh if, if you have to be really sure that that thing that you're going to end up doing is what you want to do for the rest of your life. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. You understand what I mean? Like yes. you, you just have to, you have to go with your gut. Make that decision. Yeah. All I right? think it's, it's, I mean, you, it's, this is very important that you understand what you're getting yourself into. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying there's no turning around, but the U-turn is going to be difficult. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, exploring the idea that this is what I want to do, and overall, what are you going to do to my quality of life? Mm -hmm. It's not about just putting that title on my name, I'm a cardiologist, yeah. or am I a gastroenterologist? No. How is it gonna, and because this is a commitment, this is not a one, a three year commitment, two year mm -hmm. commitment, just for your fellowships and that's it. Uh, you're gonna have, uh, um, because some of the um, specialists, they still keep their I am uh, license. Yeah. They continue on practicing. Uh, yeah. They do both their specialties and mm -hmm. uh, primary care. So I, I totally understand, but the thing is that I want people to, I, if personally for me, if yeah. I want to go in a fellowship, my fellowship is not like, oh, I want to do this and because this is what sounds good. 
It's yeah. not only yeah. for me. People, it's like, how it's it gonna how it's gonna shape my life. Yeah. Uh, the things that I want to do at the age of uh, 25, 30, mm. this is me not yeah, want to do at 40. A, that's a great point. Like a lot of people fall in love with the idea of the fellowship rather mm. than the actual yeah, day-to-day the reality living of, it. of the fellowship. Yeah. Uh, not I just mean, fellowship. Yeah, that's true for yeah, the for whole. Any, any profession, I think. Yeah. Any profession, exactly. at least. Well, well, I also think you know it's important that people understand that you have to maximize, you have to make the best of your of your opportunities, right? Yeah. So for somebody who's coming from, you know, Nigeria like myself, right? Mm-hmm. Getting an opportunity to do residence in this country, do I just want to stop, you know, at being a hospitalist or being a PCP? Yeah. Or I can make better of it. That I think there's also that factor. Absolutely. Right? Like, yeah. you know, what's the most you can do with the opportunities that you have? And you know It I, depends on what drives you. Right. Exactly. But I meet uh, fellows in any f- professions where they are married with kids mm. and they're happy and there's some they were single and they're fine. I've seen some who got out and did a hospitalist for a couple mm. of years and then came mm. back. Some who just went into it right away. Right away, yeah. So there are different routes, different ways. But I, for me, it's the, you know, talk to the person. Maybe I inspire to be a person who, who, who was fine who made it uh, had a decision of between family and uh, fellowship and they figured it out they got their fellowship and worked out their family dynamics uh, so I, I, sorry I, I also don't think it's a you know it's wrong to have other parts of your life that you consider equally as important it's yes. not wrong it's it's, 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 it's Right, it's, it's the right, right thing to do. But you know, that, yeah. you know, so, I mean, it's not so, wrong. So, 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 yeah. Sometimes it may seem as if you know a little contradictory. Y- yeah, the idea of genius or like someone who's excelling, an expert in the field, has always been this kind of socially awkward guy <laughs> who's like cut off from everything else and yeah. dedicates him to. Yeah, we need people yes. like that to like yeah. advance the science. Yeah, um, but like you know. What about the other 99% of the people who are contributing to everything else? Yeah. Like, no one's just geared towards work or just towards family. You've got to figure that balance out. Right. So these, these are important considerations. So I, I talked to some of my friends who say, you know, the reason why I don't want to do, you know, cardiology, not that they're not smart enough to be able to get, well, they, not that they don't have the credentials to be able to get into those fellowships, but they're like, you know, Man, I want to. I want to have a family, man. Is is it yeah. going to be possible? I don't. I don't think. I don't think it's impossible. But again, people are different, right? Yeah. Some people would say, you know, I can't do two things at the same time. I have to be able to focus on one. One thing at a time. Right at a time. If I'm focusing on fellowship, I have yeah. to be able to focus on fellowship. If I'm focusing on my family, I have to yeah. be able to focus on at, at least for certain periods of time. So again, it's it's they're valid valid considerations, right? The next big question now is. How big is the money factor? It's important. Okay, I'll check. It's absolutely important. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say it's the sole deciding factor, of course, because like if you wanted money and that's all you wanted, go to Wall Street, you know, no work doubt. on some Excel sheets, make right. bank, do boring stuff. Yep. So it's obvious that money isn't the sole driving factor for anyone who's in the field of medicine. It mm-hmm. can't be. You won't survive here if it is. But it is. But I am gonna have to say, about that, money no, no. I'm is saying it's not the factor. sole driving factor. Yeah, sole driving, sole driving factor. Yeah. But it's yeah. definitely a driving factor. How big of a driving factor is it? That's a question. <laughs> it's it's quite. A, who wants to be poor, man? Yes. <laughs> who wants to? Be? No one. Like, <laughs> anybody want to live in a castle? <laughs> yeah. right. with, with, with nine workers and you know everybody presenting servants everything. But the thing is that for me. If you look at it, okay, this is how I do my math. It's like, okay, if I want to go do fellowship, uh, I may get minimum, uh, minimum like 80, 90 for yeah, a year. Yeah. If I go for hospitals, I may make it to 250, 300. If I go to an awesome place and tax free, you know, that yeah. could be all mine. Yeah. Go do that for three years. So this guy just made a, a million dollar mm-hmm. while I was still making 300,000 right yeah. but over a lifetime yeah. after fellowship i'll be making maybe a uh, hundred so more, more yeah. uh, or something but at the end for me uh-huh. it comes out to be the same thing you may make 50 or 100 more it's for me it's uh, for <laughs> me it's uh, because yeah it's about the work I it's think the amount I'll, of I'll, money I'll, I'll, you get do, for do the agree, work do you agree, do you agree? I, i'll say that uh, a lot of 
this idealism that we have at this point. I share your beliefs too about you know the work has to be interesting and stuff. But I think as your you you know grow up and life throws more responsibilities at you, yeah. and slowly you have safety nets that you have now being taken away from under your feet. Yeah, money is gonna be right up there. Yeah. All right. So, right now you're thinking in one sort of uh, you know. Yeah. But then. My, Give it five years, ten years. I'm pretty sure my, my whole outlook's gonna change. It's gonna change yeah, once yeah. you get into the practice of whatever you're doing. Yeah. Money is gonna become a huge factor for you. Right. So definitely. So definitely, it is a factor. I, I, I'm gonna be realistic, right? One of the reasons why some people don't even bother pursuing medicine, you know, in the first place is the learning is curve to money. It ratio. takes so much. <laughs> Such a long time yeah. for you to go from you know undergrad to actually making decent you know income, decent bank, <laughs> <laughs> decent bank. You get yeah. what I mean, right? It it takes such a long time. Yeah. Some some people don't even want to bother with that. If you get a chance to make you know good Wall money, Street, man. yeah, Wall Demon Street, Brothers. right, right. You go ahead and do that. So, but when you get into residency. Obviously, becomes a factor, right? Because you're like, oh shit. You think I like living paycheck to paycheck? You think? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. You think I'm, rent's going down in Brooklyn? It's right? not. No way. But again, it, it works. You too think way. kale's cheap? No. no. Way. <laughs> <laughs> That's what those people. Oh, yeah. but again, it, 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 it goes both ways. Like Hannah was saying, yeah. right? So for some people, it's like, you know, do I get out there, make that money as a hospitalist, right? And then come back, save save something up, and come back later on, and just do the hustle for another four years, and then go back and make more. Yeah. Or do I just stick with it? You know. So what if you don't have to make decisions just for yourself? What if you have a one-year-old? Right. Yes. It just changes everything, man. So it's, like. And uh, same time, it depends on where you want to be working. If if you I'm gonna be a cardiologist <laughs> uh, in New York, yeah. as compared to being a hospitalist in in, in uh, Midwest in, in, in or in in South, Mexico, where in Mexico, you Canada. tell me I'm gonna be making my hospital is gonna be making more money, I'm paying more taxes here as a cardiologist. How does the math add up? So, uh, honestly, my my thoughts about all those things it comes again back to what you really enjoy doing. Exactly. Because I honestly believe that the money is going to come for whoever it is, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, of course. Listen, wherever specialty you go... You will survive, you, irrespective. Yeah, yeah. Well, for me, right, I have certain specialties that I have so much love for the yeah, science yeah. of it, yeah. right? The science of it, right? It just makes so much sense and it's so inspiring and, and all of like that. But then I ask myself, do I see myself doing the work in reality? Like, exactly. Yeah. Like, I see the people the who do it. The patient population, right? the staff, I see people who do it, and interest. I'm asking myself, do I want to do that, right? Or I really, want to do something. I really want to ask you what speciality you're talking about. No, no, right? no, or no. I think He's I know what you're talking about. He's still going for cardiology. No, 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 no. Listen, it, 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 it's, it's personal, personal <laughs> considerations, right? But it's personal, but I'm saying that. Right, right. <laughs> no, it, it has to be about what you think works for you. Bye, Sonu. My son. Oh my. <laughs> where, where do you take this? Now? Yeah, uh, somewhere between life so hard and it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I want to go with um, for fellowship. I want to be okay if I don't. I don't. And residency was important. Ne residency was a necessity. Yes, okay. med school was a necessity. Broader for question. Yeah. Yes. Broader question. To fellowship or not to fellowship? Not not about like what fellowship you want. Let's yeah. forget about it. Let's just keep for it me really personally, like. being the way I am, mm. I would want to go for fellowship. Yeah. My question is, do I want to go? Do I want to go into it right away? Where I am like, if I feel overwhelmed by the the timing of it already, should I get scared? And I don't want to get scared because of I'm thinking I'm like I'm tired. It's four more years, five more years. That's a years. luxury we don't have. And, and <laughs> that, yeah, luxury we don't have. Should I that be like true. you know what? Yeah. It's okay. I'm not gonna go for it. Or should I make it a random way? I whatever decision I want to make, I want to come to that conclusion mm -hmm. from a different directions. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be just one way. I'm tired. I'm burned out. I want to make money. No. See, there you go. So you have time on your side. Again, visa status, as you were saying yeah, in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. It, it, you have to work between the boundaries you're given. Yeah, no doubt, right? Like, it's, it's we have a year to make this decision, like it, me for now. You have months. 
Oh yeah, it's like yeah. you know you, you can get screwed so easy. Yes. <laughs> you know yeah. I mean, right? Real so, quick. So very very quick, right? But again, I, I think but, 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 the bottom I mean, line. Some yeah? of our viewers don't know, but like for instance, but that you tell me like if having an IMG, if we, mm. I'm sure we have IMG listeners. How do you feel? What are your obligations? Which which route? you think you would want to take if you're having fellowship or no fellowship? I think you have to decide very early. Both options are open to you. Right. It's just that the time frame of decision making is shorter than it is for someone with a Right. Visa. I think okay. you have to decide very early and play, play it like somewhere all in. I mean, go within all the first in. nine months of your mom's pregnancy, you should have made a decision. I think, I think, so. I think so. <laughs> before, that, before the first one <laughs> takes place. The pressure is on. Right. I think you, you have to decide very early and just go all in. Yeah. And don't leave anything you know, because there's several factors that determine the chances you're going to get a fellowship. Yeah. Obviously, you know, scores may not play as much as a So you think it's, it's not a good idea to go for fellowships uh, if you don't know? You want to do fellowship, but you're not comfortable doing it right right after. Again, it's, it, it's individual, right? It's, uh, on an individual basis, you have to really figure out what works for you. And, and Indecisiveness is not going to help. No, no, no way. No way. You have to figure out very early. This so, is if, if, so is there a way, like, uh, would you want to go and do, um, like, okay, let's do work a little bit. Was That's that a possibility? Fine. That, that, that is fine. Honestly, that is fine. What excites you? That's the question. Yeah. What makes you happy? Get out of bed in the morning. Right. What, what really means something to you? You know, some people, it's different. It's different for a lot of people, right? Yeah. Some people keep it simple. Some people just want you know, something some else. Yeah. You can't blame either. I mean, some I people know just some, want the dollar. Some, right. And listen, <laughs> I don't that's blame that. I, that's, that's, we work that's for it. I, I mean, we work for it. Uh, I mean, I don't know if somebody ever, all, a lot of us, during this whole process, we do get excited for the money as well because... It took a lot of effort and money to get here. Of course. Listen, I get so, excited about money every so day. I, 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 I get excited I about the money. I refuse, about money. I refuse, of course, refuse to accept like. people who are like, oh, I'm not going in for the money. No. I'm like, okay, are you gonna, are, are you, are you living on the streets or what's going on? You're <laughs> perfectly fine with homelessness. <laughs> you know, like, you tell me about it. Uh, but, right. but it's fine to have that thought. It's fine. I am, I'm, I'm fine if somebody say I want to go where they're gonna pay me ten thousand more. I'm mm. perfectly fine with it. Yeah, you this. can't demonize it. it I'm no, not it's a No, it's that's a necessity. Stupid. Get, my, get, my, get hungry and see how it is. Yeah. yeah. Get hungry and see how it is. No fun, right? <laughs> right so. Not that I've ever been hungry, but, you know, <laughs> I keep myself well fed. <laughs> you got any more snacks in there? Thank God. You know, snacks, where they at? No snacks. And then I have